We are, like the rest of the nation, I'm sure, anxiously um, counting down to receiving a copy of the draft bill uh, in regards to the offshore oil moratorium. And um, that would, will really uh, be a very important milestone in the clean energy campaign. And we look forward to take, having that conversation continue towards exploring alternative energy sources because we, we need to have energy. But of course, there's so many alternatives out there and having the conversation really expand to include you know, non-traditional uh, sources um, and getting back to our fisheries work. Um, unfortunately, we still have the issues of gill nets um, to look at. And, you know, we, we saw very recently that um, the U.S. is looking that any country that's using gear that harms mammals, and we know that gill nets do impact mammals, um, will be barred from uh, exporting to countries like the U.S. So it really, again, um, is a microcosm for the fact that what we're doing here, how we're catching fish, uh, the practices that are being used can have some very large widespread impact and again that connection and that interdependence, everything has a consequence and an impact so we really need to approach it uh, as a people.